Hi, this is JP Morgan. Today on Slam Lens, we're going to review probably the most unique tripod I have ever seen. It's like the Swiss Army knife of tripods. Uh, at first, when I got it, I wasn't sure about it, but as I've used it, I realized that there's a lot of engineering and a lot of thought that has gone into making this a very useful item in multiple different situations. So let's just talk about what we have here. This is the Hapi Travel Tripod very compact. It has a center column that kind of blends itself into the build of the tripod. And that's interesting because this center column, when we look at it, loosen this collar, this center column, this is our center column, so we can raise it up and down to give us more height. I mean, this will go up to uh, 60 inches, or 59 inches high. It'll also go down as low as 9.2 inches, so you can get a lot of height or uh, very low. It's a very lightweight, three pound travel tripod with a lot of different options, because as I come up with the center column, I can tighten this off, and it is my center column. But if I loosen this, I can pull the center column all the way out, and this now becomes a platform for my camera. I can either go low like that, or I can take this and I can come all the way down to the ground, and it just becomes a very low uh, platform, which I, I found that really interesting and quick to do. The center column is really fascinating to me, because if I come up with a center column here and drop it back in, I mean, I go right back down to my, or if I flip it over, put this in the bottom, now I've got, it's an underslung, and I can tighten it as an underslung uh, use of that same application. But how does it handle the camera? I mean, that's really the most important question, and it's a Arca Swiss compatible. All I do is I set the square on here, line it up, and the minute I pop it in, the collar snaps into place. I make a half a turn, and now it's locked into place. So this is very simple to use. The minute I bring it back, it releases. Turn it a half a turn, it releases. Drop it back on there, and I tighten it. So it's very quick to put a camera on, to take a camera off from this platform. The ball head in and of itself, I mean, you can take this ball head completely off if you want, and this ball head now can go on, you can put a different ball head on here, and if this collar gets in the way, this collar comes completely off. So you can take this off, and you can put any ball head on here that you want, which makes it very easy uh, to use any ball head. I found this little knob on the side here at first a little difficult for me to use, so when I tuck that little knob in on the bottom right there, I was having a hard time getting to it. So I reorient it, and you can reorient it, uh, so that it would tighten straight up. It became very easy, just a quick flip to be able to, re to tighten and loosen that, and just worked really flawlessly. I did find the little knob on the back maybe a little tiny for my fingers, uh, but it does release so that you have 10 degree clicks, so it clicks around as you set if you're going to do any kind of a panoramic. Uh, if you wanted to have something so that you can orient your camera, it just makes it very easy to go through and to find the different spots here. You can go in and there's a little Allen uh, hex key, and you can turn that hex key and disable the uh, clicks if you want this just to be a, a fluid uh, ball head and not have the clicks. I did find this really interesting. There's a cell phone attachment here. Pops out so you can slip your phone on this thing. That's pretty amazing. I mean, look at that. I would never have thought of that, but that's super useful. If we're out shooting and a lot of times we'll just pick up a quick uh, social media post or something, we can throw our phone on there and that just pulls up out of the ball head, which is excellent. It has a lever locking system for the legs that when you grab it here, there's four you pop all those open at once, and this comes out at one time. It's very easy to set up, very easy to collapse, bring those back in. You can lock them all in place. Just roll your hand across it, or you can do them one at a time. Just click them, come out, click. I mean, it's a different way of doing it. It's not the twisting, uh, but it's very obvious when it is and isn't uh, locked, which may, I like a lot. It does have a nice counterweight hook on here. Each one of these rubber uh, feet, if you turn it around, has a small spike in it. So it comes with a great travel case. I like this because a lot of times I'll put my travel tripod on the outside of a camera backpack, and it's just nice to have something that just covers and keeps it clean so it doesn't hook on things. It does have, I didn't mention that, there are two bubble uh, levels here. There's one on the head, there's also one inside uh, underneath the collar. And those two bubble levels give you the ability to, uh, to 
level everything out. So it's very lightweight. It's made out of carbon fiber, so it gives you that really lightweight. It's about three pounds, but it will handle around 50 pounds of camera gear, which is really nice ratio. You got a three pound um, tripod, it goes up 59 inches. It's gonna handle 50 pounds worth of gear. I mean, that's a nice ratio all the way around. So I've been wandering around LA with the Hapeat tripod now uh, for several days, and I have really enjoyed using it. It's very quick to set up. Uh, there's so many features on it that have been thought through. Okay. So it's the right size to be able to drop in the pocket on the side of your uh, backpack. I don't like them when they stick up here. It's going to hang on, hang up on things when I'm walking. I need a strap on here to hold it in place, but it certainly works in that pocket on the side of the backpack. If you, inside, you can put this inside the backpack. It's not too long, and certainly if you take the ball head off, you can get it inside the backpack. So it is made to travel. So let's wrap this thing up. I've been traipsing around LA using the Hapeat tripod. I can honestly say, and I don't say this very often, this is the best tripod I have probably ever used. It is compact, it is lightweight, it's super simple to use. There's like three features on here I love. I love the locking and being able to take the camera on and off just super quick, just locks. I love that about it. I love this little lever on the side, which unlocks and locks the ball head very quickly to do. I Much easier than trying to twist and uh, work with just a, a, a round kind of knob on the side. I love the lever, love that a lot. That inner column becomes a column or a small tripod. So, man, for a lightweight, compact tripod, I don't think you can find better than this. So it's been extremely fun to use. And I hope you enjoyed this review. Check it out, check out their Kickstarter because you wanna get in and be able to get $100 off from this in the beginning. So check out the Kickstarter. So keep those cameras rolling, keep on clicking.